If you listen closely, you'll hear their voices, their songs. <laughs> ah, music to my ears. Oh, hello. How are you? Yeah, I'm good, mate. How are you going? Oh, I wasn't quite expecting that accent. Yeah, no, it's quite common around these. OK. <laughs> While talking to animals might seem like something only fictional characters can do, it's an idea scientists are taking seriously. Over the years, we've discovered lots about the ways animals communicate. Take octopuses, for example. They can change the colour and texture of their skin to communicate mood. Other animals use voices, like us. <laughs> Male humpbacks sing long, detailed songs during mating season. And some animals even use names, like elephants and dolphins. A while ago, scientists worked out that each individual dolphin whistles something completely unique to them, something called a signature whistle. So these are these individually specific whistles that are very much like our names. This is Layla. She's been researching dolphins for 40 years. And recently, her research team won the first phase of a competition called the Collar Doolittle Prize. It's a massive competition, offering hundreds of thousands of dollars to scientists who can help us get closer to... Talking to us animals! Yes, uh, what he said. Well, the whistles have very distinctive shapes that we call contours, um, and they really are just, like, so distinctive. Layla says when dolphins aren't busy saying their own names, the other whistles they make might actually mean something. She thinks these non-signature whistles could work a bit like words. Like, for instance, sounding an alarm. When I first saw that, I was like, honestly thought I was going crazy. I, I just thought, I've never seen anything like this. I, I, I almost thought nobody was going to even believe me. But there's still so much we don't know, which is why some researchers are enlisting the help of AI. Like Yossi. He's part of the team who started the Doolittle Prize. And recently, he's been studying the language of bats. We put bats in large cages for a short period. Uh, we video them continuously and record everything. Yossi and his team recorded 15,000 vocalizations of bats, along with who was making the call, who to, and what the bats were doing when they made the call. And then we fed this into an AI machine. So AI's big advantage is that indeed it is very good in trying to uh, identify patterns that might be hidden. What they found after it was given the detailed data was that the AI could take a random sample and say who was calling, the context of the call, whether the bats were fighting or playing, and in some instances, who the call was addressed to. But again, we're humans and, and often we don't understand exactly what the animal is doing. So, I mean, collecting data and filtering the data and annotating the data, that's all very, very challenging. I'm really loving your boat. Right, right now, researchers say it will be a long time before humans, not just fairy tale princesses, can properly talk to animals. Probably say the same thing if they could like But they say everything we're learning is important. I think that the more we learn about animals, it can only increase everyone's empathy for them. All right, then. I'll see you around, princess. Oh, of course. Well, I'll see you later then. Goodbye now. Have a great week, princess. Be great. Tend to you. Always love tend to you.